Good day everyone. Today we are going to discuss the Pythagorean theorem. No? We have to discuss the Pythagorean theorem. So Pythagorean theorem can be applied only for any right triangle, no? So in a right triangle, the square Okay, the square of the hypotenuse or the longest side, hypotenuse or the longest side in any right triangle is equal to the sum of squares, sum of squares of the two other legs other legs or sides okay so some of the books uh, some author of the book using legs as uh, its sides okay so the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the two other legs or sides that is the statement under Pythagorean theorem. So, suppose we have a right triangle here. Right triangle. So, there are three sides. We have, let's say, we have uh, side A, side B, and we have our side C as our hypotenuse since it is the Longest side, ito yung pinakahabang side ng ating, pinakamahabang side ng ating triangle, right triangle. So, at the same time, we could easily identify our hypotenuse since it is the opposite of our 90 degrees or the right angle. Automatically, that will be your hypotenuse or side C. In this case only, no? So, Based on the statement that the square of this side, let's say we have line segment AB and we have line segment BC, side BC and side AC. So the square of this longest side or the hypotenuse is, is equal to the sum of the squares of these two legs or two sides. No? So we have A squared plus B squared. So based on the statement that the c squared is equals to a squared plus b squared, this will be now the translated symbol based from that given theorem. No? Now, suppose we are going to solve for the value of a here, a. So we are going to work out this equation so that we could easily determine the value of the other side instead, aside from our hypotenuse. So suppose we are going to solve for a squared here. So we are going to apply the addition property or subtraction property of equality. So magsa subtract tayo dito ng b squared so that we could easily determine the value of our a squared is equal to c squared minus b squared. And this is another formula in order for us to determine the value of this side. So the question is Dito, kahit na magkabaliktad, may sulat mo yung b squared dito mauna bago yung a squared, it doesn't matter. Same is true here. So, halimbawa na letter A dito, then letter B mo dito, walang problema yon Kasi, uh, since this is a sum of meaning, uh, it is commutative. No? Addition is a commutative kahit magkabaliktad. No? Okay? So... <coughs> Continue. Suppose we are going to solve for the value of b squared here. So again, b squared is equal to, so mag-subtract naman tayo dito sa original equation natin ng a squared. So, becomes c squared minus a squared. So this is now another formula in solving for this side. Now, hindi lang naman doon kasi yung c a and B yung hinahanap natin. So, automatically, we are going to extract square root here. 
so that we could easily uh, we could determine the value of c as our side or distance from that point up to that point and apply again the extracting square root here mag extract tayo ng mga square roots dito para makukuha natin yung value ng a, b, and c so gawin natin simple ito so paano? so ang concept dito again is square natin yon is equals to the sum of the square of these two sides pag add natin yan yung mga squares nya pareho doon sa magiging value na ating c square or yung uh, square of that hypotenuse so meaning if you have to determine the value of your c here automatically your c now becomes equals to the square root of a squared plus b squared okay so yan yung magiging formula mo talaga when you are looking for that value of your c semester so, here a so we have a is equals to square root of we have c squared minus b squared tandaan natin na yung value nyo yung c natin should be subtracted from a ni of a and b kasi ito yung c natin yung longest side so that we could avoid yung value ng ating radic as a value of our radicand here na magiging negative so yung longest side palagi doon tayo magsasubtract so semester here so b is equals to square root of c squared minus a squared okay so tandaan natin yung mga formula then we will go now to our example. Suppose that a given in a given uh, right triangle, so paano natin may solve, no? Using that formula. Okay, suppose we have a triangle. Suppose we have a triangle, right angle ito, which is 90 degrees. Automatically, this will be now our hypotenuse. Okay? So, suppose this will be your C. This will be your A. Or this will be your B. And we have a given here. Suppose, halimbawa, yung B natin, say, this is uh, 3 units. Or 3. The value of your B is, say, this is 4. So, we have to look for the value of our C. Hanapin natin ngayon yung value ng ating C. So, based on the statement kanina, so automatically, gagawin natin is, is square natin yan, then i-add lang natin yung square nito, no? yung dalawa. So, suppose we have C square is equals to, kahit magkabaliktad, so B squared plus A squared, no problem yon kasi this is uh, addition, no? commutative yung addition kahit magkabaliktad. Now, so, this is 90 degrees. So, substitute natin. The value of our B is 3 squared plus the value of our A is 4 squared. So, this will become equal to 9 plus 4 times 4 is 16. So, our C squared now is equals to 25. Since ang hinahanap natin ay hindi C squared, kung hindi C lang. So, therefore, we need to extract square root here. So that this will become equals to negative or positive square root of 25. So, bakit naging negative positive? Since, if you have to square 5 here, since 25 is a perfect square, so C is equals to plus or minus 5. Negative 5 times negative 5, babalik tayo dun sa original na 65 as the value of our C squared. Kung positive 5, ganun pa rin. But, since we are talking on a distance, about distance, so therefore, the value of our C is we have to take positive, which is equals to 5. And this will be now the value of your C. So instead of, if the two sides are 4 and 3, in any right triangle, automatically, the value of our C here is become 5. Okay? So yun lang concept natin dito. Square lang natin yan. Then square natin yun. Then, i-add natin. Then, we have to find the extract square root. Automatically, that will be now the result of your hypotenuse or the longest side C. Yun ay pag halimbawa, hinahanap natin yung value ng ating C. Suppose, A ang hinahanap natin. Suppose, halimbawa, A. Halimbawa, yung A hindi natin alam na 4 yun. No? Suppose, this is uh, hindi natin alam na 4 yan. 
So same process, same formula that we are using, that we will be using, we have c squared is equals to b squared plus a squared. Since a squared ang hinahanap natin, a. So isa-subtract natin ito, magiging a squared is equals to c squared minus b squared. So again, substitute lang natin, 5 squared minus, minus na, hindi na add, magiging 3 squared. So 25 minus 3, 6, 25 minus 60, uh, 9. So automatically, your a is equals to, square root of 16 is 4. So your a is equal to 4. So magiging 4 yun. So balance pa rin. No? Kung a ang hinahanap natin. Same is true with B. Okay? So, suppose B. We're looking for the value of your B. So, B squared is equals to hypotenuse natin. Yung longest side, doon palagi magsasubtract. We have C squared minus A squared natin. Halimbawa, hindi natin alam yung B na 3 yan. Halimbawa, hindi natin alam. Okay? So, B squared now equals to substitute talagi. We have 5 squared minus your a natin dito is 4 squared ay magiging 25 minus 16 okay 16 so your b now equals to 25 minus 16 is 9 so square root of 9 and your b is equals to 3 okay so this will become equal to 3 okay so 3 so that's it.